Hi everybody. Okay, I've reached another stage in my rooster. Now I've already layered his eye with pencil on top of the ink tents. But when I did his feathers, that are these are already layered, I left one feather, this one right here in the middle, just for you guys so I can show you how I layered the ink tents with pencil. Now what I've done is I record in my Creative Companion uh, the colors that I use so I can remember if I like something maybe I'll use it in another drawing. I started with 810 Lagoon in the ink tents for the blue feathers and now I'm layering them with two polychrome colors 151 and 120 and a Prisma color 1023. And those three colors I'm getting this soft feather effect. You can see the one that has not been colored, that only has ink tents, and then the others that have the pencil layer. And the way you move the pencil is how you get that soft, feathery look. So I am going to set my phone up here in a way that allows you to watch how I use my pencils. And I start with my dark pencil. Okay. Some people start with their light colors. And I think sometimes I do too, but I'm wanting to end with my lightest color because I'm going to use the light color as my blender. Instead of using a blender pencil, I use the lightest, the Prisma color. 1023, I think that's cloud blue, because it's giving the feather this really soft, feathery effect based on how I'm moving the pencil. Um, sometimes when I'm blending, you know, I'm using a small circular stroke, but with the feathers, I'm really wanting them to seem and feel like feathers. Now sometimes what will happen is, as I go through the page, the feathers might lose their punch based on the background and other aspects of the drawing. So even though right now I feel like all the feathers that I finished look good and are how I want them, I'm really glad that I've wrote down what I've used to get them there because if they lose some of the impact that I think they have now as I fill in the other aspects of the page, I can go back and take this dark blue here and go back over these finished feathers and give them more contrast. Or I might go in and take white and get tip off these blues and make the white um, highlights of the feather stronger. But um, unless I know what I've used, and by the time you get through a whole page you might not remember, I wouldn't be able to do that as effectively. And uh, ever since I've had my creative companion on hand, I record what I'm working on and what I'm using and it really is amazing. It's my favorite master tool. So you can see that I'm doing a back and forth, back and forth instead of circular. It really does make a difference the way you move your pencil for different effects. Some people say color the whole piece in the same direction, and that might work for something. You know, um, it's not what I'm going to do with this piece. I'm not going to do every aspect of this line art with feather style strokes, except for the feathers. Okay, now here's where you're going to see. I love using a light pencil in the same color family 
as what I've already done. Yeah, this is cloud blue. Um, because using that uh, doesn't change the color of what I've done. It just softens everything. And so using a light color is a really good idea. Um, whereas white kind of sometimes can you can lose some of the color. Now, I am not liking this point. I am not getting the same effect because I've been using a super sharp point. And even though that does eat through my pencil, um, having a point for these feathers makes a difference. And then I roll my pencil quite frequently. because this gives me the strongest edge. So this is how I'm getting my feathers to have a feathery look that makes me feel happy. And I will use this tonal value, I usually use a minimum of three colors, a dark, a medium, and a light, oh shoot, with most anything that I'm coloring. I hate it when I break a lead. I get so intense I break them a lot. <laughs> but um, It just gives you good, good tonal values to use at least three. Actually, that kind of did me a favor. Gave me a really sharp point when it broke. Okay, so is how I got my soft feather look. Open that a little bit more. And I'm super happy with it. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, I'm going to try to do that if I get something that um, I think comes out well, I'll make you a mini video. Okay, so those are my current blue feathers and my blue come on focus my blue eye and those are the parts where I have layered the derwent with pencil okay till next time